Hey what's up guys, it's Minfi here and today I'm going to be playing some Modern Warfare 2. For today's video, I'm going to be checking out some of the new things that were recently added with Season 4. So at Season 4, there were several new things added. One of them is that there is two new multiplayer maps. The first one is District and the second one is Showdown. I personally have not played either one of these maps, but I will be checking them out today. I do want to go ahead and look at the Battle Pass real quick. So with the Season 4 Battle Pass, there's two brand new weapons that were added. The first one is the Tempest Razorback and the second one is the ISO. 45. For today's video, I am going to be unlocking the Tempest Razorback just because that sector is the closest from where I'm currently at on the Battle Pass. So I'm just going to go ahead and claim all of these sectors real quick. Okay, so I did just unlock the Tempest Razorback. This is the weapon. It has a lot of attachments, but I don't have any attachments unlocked because I just unlocked the gun. I am, however, going to go over the camo challenges for this. But before I do that, I do want to mention that this will basically be a first impressions type of video. It's similar to the crossbow video where I just try out the weapon, see if I like it or not, and basically determine if I do want to go for the camo challenges on that gun or not. Anyways, explanations aside, the first camo challenge is to get 50 kills with the Tempest Razorback. The second camo challenge is to get 20 mounted kills. The third camo challenge is to get 40 kills while ADS. And the last base camo challenge is to get 15 double kills. Honestly, at first glance, these camo challenges look very easy and simple. So even if I wasn't intentionally going for gold with the Tempest Razorback, I think it'd be the most easiest gun to unlock gold camo for. Anywho, I am gonna go ahead and play District first, just because that was the first playlist before the other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that out and see if it's any good or not, but I'll also try out the Tempest Razorback at the same time. But this is the new map so far. I like the skybox. Okay, I just want to take a moment to say I like the skybox. Hello, I like your camo. Let me just uh let me just get a little close there. Let me let me let me just <laughs> let me just get a little give me a kiss. <laughs> this is so pretty. It kinda looks like hotel, like with the canal and everything, but I like this map. Ooh, that is loud. That's a loud gun. Also, this feels really weird to play. I've been playing so much shipment that this does not feel right. Like, I feel like a bot with my aim. Boom! <laughs> ah! Punch him! No! I did get one punch off, okay? I just didn't expect him to kill me so fast. I wonder if I can go in this building. Oh yeah, I can. Wow, look, t-shirts. Is this like a store? If this is a store, why is it so like narrow it has to be a storage place right hey, look at this guy right here you know that one meme of the guy like checking out the girl this is kind of like what this is making me think of but like not really at the same time this on the other hand who are these people i'm so distracted with the map but that's okay i want to check everything out like there's a laundry mat in here they have cookies i want cookies now oh hey i conveniently got to the hard point Look at that. I'm already prepped for the next station. Okay, so I legit managed to die off that point, but hey, like my trophy system got him. And then I died. I do like this map though. I think it's a really interesting map. I like like the aesthetic of it. That sounds weird, but I do like how vibrant it is. Can I go over here? Oh my God, you can. One thing I love about new maps is just kind of like trying to figure them out. Like, look, I can mount here. Look at that. I'm in a better position than this guy. Don't mind me, just mounting. Ooh, two kills. I just got an easy double. Ooh, triple. Oh, no, that could have been a quad. Oh, okay, would have been a quad if I looked in the corner. Why didn't I look in the corner? Well then, um, that wasn't very necessary. Oh my god, there was a lag. Oh, hello. I got like a double kill. This guy's pretty good. That guy had first shots on me, but I still got him. I thought I heard someone here. There we go. Oh, that hurts. I'm gonna lay down. Oh, behind you. No, I have no ammo. That's interesting. Did you guys see that thing that said like outnumbered three attackers? That is a new little thing they added. Oh my God, ow. I got someone at least. So far I think this gun is fine, but I think it needs more ammo. I feel like I said that 10 out of 10 times, a hundred times if I could, but I say it so often. I found my friend again. Hello. I'm in your face. <laughs> the fact that he just lets it happen, I think it's funny, okay? <laughs> Aw, I just got here and the hard point's moving. We're getting breadcrumbs when it comes to the hard point. Like, they're already on the next one, and our team just gets like the last remaining points. Like, look at these guys, they're already on it. 
I knew it. I thought I saw him behind me. Oh, can I climb this? Hey, I'm trying to figure something out, Simmer. <laughs> we lost that one, unfortunately. Uh, I can explain. It was a rough match. Yeah, let's go with that. Thankfully, I did manage to unlock a laser for this. Not that it would matter, but you know what? Let's put on a laser. And I managed to unlock this barrel. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on as well. No promises of whether or not I will keep it on though. So just keep that in mind. I didn't wanna mention, why is my gun so far off to the right side of the screen? Or is there like a barrel that makes it like larger? I'm gonna go ahead and take a look real quick because I didn't necessarily notice. Huh. Hey, that kind of looks like the FAMAS though with the little top thingy. But there is no barrel that actually makes it like longer. So I don't know why it is so far off to the right with that being said. It's kind of odd. Seems a little misplaced. But anyways, I am going to go ahead and check out the other map, which is Showdown. This one might be interesting. I don't know quite yet. Like I said, I haven't played any of these new maps, but I'm interested to see if they're any good or not. I did like that last map, by the way. I think it was very uh, interesting. Am I the only one? Oh, because <laughs> if I was the only one here. Hello, teammate. What's up? I see you. <laughs> Just like the game says, I got Dom. So I'm gonna go ahead and capture our home flag because, well, looked like no one was initially going for this one. Huh. I would have thought there would have been a door right here to go through, but there's not a door. A little awkward so far. What is the flow of this map? You have to go all the way around? And a guy can shoot into your spawn with an LMG? Look at this glowy gun. Oh, hold up. There's a guy there. Look at this glowy gun, though. Why is it so Whoa! Why is that so bright? My eyeballs are, are melting. Wait, I want this. Oh my god, look at this. This is so bright. Holy cow. I'm gonna use this. Oh, it's the bundle with the alien. I remember seeing this earlier. Gosh, this is so bright. I feel like I'm getting blind by using this. Okay. Can you see my gun before you saw me? Like, I'm curious to see this. Yeah, look at how bright that gun is. I legit saw the gun before I saw myself. This map is so tiny, but very interesting. Hello there. Uh, excuse? Please come back. Okay, Xbox can go. Thank you, Xbox. You did it. <laughs> oh, there's people there. Oh, Xbox died. I got one. Even though that was really bad uh, recoil. Ow, that hurts. There you go. Oh, wait, that was someone completely different. I like this map, but it is also kind of strange at the same time. A lot of the action should be here in the middle area, but I feel like I don't really see a lot of action in the middle area at the same time. Where'd that guy go? Where what? Oh, he's right there. Why are you laying down? I thought you were going to take objective. Hey, a chicken. Hello, chicken. Hey, let me enjoy the chickens. Oh, more chickens. Okay, teammates, you get them. I want to look at the chickens. <laughs> you couldn't even get him? I'm trying to enjoy the chicken. Wait, did the other one die? What happened to the other chicken? Uh, I really hope it didn't die. This is a really random corner. Why does this corner need to exist? I can just imagine someone with that like deployable cover right here mounting and then getting like really easy kills right there. I mean, I kind of just did what I described, you know? They even have to have the deployable cover for that to work. Ow. There's some like really corny spots on here. Like, I don't know. Why am I on this box? Like, I can just wait for someone and hide. There's a lot of hiding spots. I thought I was gonna die and I did die. They're playing so tactically. I don't know. This map does feel like one of those maps where people would play a little bit more passively than to actually play aggressively. Good job, teammate. Thanks for spotting that guy. 
he just hides in every corner. I think so far, I don't necessarily like this map, but it could just be because I'm playing Dom, so there's really no flow to it with that being said. I think Dom in general though in this game has been kind of funky for me. Like I love domination a lot because it's super fun to me, but I feel like it just doesn't play out as I would like it to. It has a weirder, slower style in here. So, you know, you don't necessarily get to move around as much on the maps. It's all good. I had a good game regardless. I think I'll give Showdown another try. Hopefully I don't get domination again because I don't want to necessarily say it's a bad map just because of the game mode. I do want to give the map a chance and see if it actually is good despite, you know, whatever game mode it is. I got some grind on here. Let's see if it's any better because grind is kind of more like go, go, go. If I had to describe it, there is a lot more movement when it comes to grind. So I'm really hoping to see more happening in here with that being said. So far I've only collected tags. All right, let's go ahead and bank these. I also keep noticing weird lag spikes. I don't know if it's because it's the new season and usually there's a lot of like playlist updates, but for some reason it feels like there's a lot of lag spikes that are coming in that are just like, whoa, there are so many tags. I need those tags. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. I want it. I need it. No, I still want those tags, but I don't know if they're still there anymore. Oh, I'm pretty sure they banked it, unfortunately. Oh wait, no, there's so many here. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't even notice that guy. <laughs> I want to take down this person's chopper gunner. Don't mind me. Just gonna. <laughs> Still gonna do it. I mean, it's almost dead. That was gone. I think his chopper gunner lasted literally for like a second before it was gone. Huh? Again, where I think there should be a door and a full connection, there is not. How am I getting shot? Where was I getting shot from? Oh, Ugh, I don't like that. That is so cheap. I like the look of the map, but I don't like the actual map itself. I feel like I haven't seen that many enemies around. Oh, there's an enemy. And another one. Oh my god, it lags every time a weapon level up screen comes up. I get to deposit all these boings. Nice. I'm so happy about that. I love getting shot in the back from someone that I can't see because they're hiding behind a random object. I'm having a great time. Everything's okay. You know that like dog meme where he's sitting and there's like a bunch of fire? I feel like that right now. Honestly, after those two matches, I don't think I like Showdown, unfortunately. It's just a very passive map. It's like you gotta play it slow and that's what it caters towards. And I'm not someone that necessarily likes to play so. I want to be able to, you know, run around the map, go ahead and play the objective. And it's just kind of irritating when someone's hiding behind some kind of structure that hides them from you being able to see them. So for me, that is a pass. And I don't think I'll be playing any more showdown. Originally, I was thinking it was because of the game modes, but I think overall it is just the map itself. It's just too campy, it's too slow, it's very passive, and it's not something that I necessarily like, so I'm gonna go ahead and avoid showdown. Also, I did manage to get the Tempest Razor back to level five. I basically just put on the first attachment that I unlock for every category that is unlocked. So there's technically no thought behind the attachments that I currently have equipped, but you know, it is a really good gun despite the random attachments I have. I did just recently unlock this. I was curious to see if this was any good or not. So I want to go ahead and try it out in a match but yeah this is basically what i'm using currently oh hello there you got some stink lines around you you might want to take a shower but i did get some tdm on here i am curious to see how this will play out on district i always die so fast <laughs> there's one guy i finally got a kill look at that all me took a lot of skill to get that one kill just letting you know took a lot of skill Oh my gosh, that startled me. I actually was about to get headshotted really easily. Oh, hello. Goodbye. I hear someone here. Oh. Oh my god, my scope really made me not be able to see that guy. And this isn't a very big scope either, which is the weird part. Ooh, look at these flowers. These are so pretty. They look like hydrangeas. So really nice. I like the detail. <laughs> I think I scared him. What? 
Did I run out of ammo? What happened there? Also, for some reason, this looks like something that you can mount and then get up here and then go out, which I mean, you can, but I mean, like as a part of the map, you know, like basically you see how there's like a red line there. You should be able to loop around. I understand why they didn't make it like that because it probably would have made the map a little too big, but yeah, would have been a nice detail regardless. Did I get him? What happened? I was flashed. Oh, I did get him. Yay. <laughs> Ow. They keep flashing me. I can't see anything. Well, I got him anyways. Take that. I made the guy leave because he couldn't flash kill me. Oh my god, I have no ammo left. All right, I got him too. He was trying to camp. Look, I just want ammo for my AR. That would be very much appreciated. Like I scream all the time. It needs more ammo. Wait, I'm gonna do this. Ah! Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Let me get the triple. Thank you. Aw, oh, you split my triple. Hey, you got a base cam unlocked. Oh, I got that guy with the grenade. Nice. I'm almost out of ammo again. I'm gonna die to this guy, aren't I? Oh, okay, that was kind of an interesting situation there at the end. Pretty good game. I like that one. I will say I do like the Tempest Razorback. I will also say that it definitely needs more ammo, like I always say. Another thing that I think it definitely needs is recoil control, which it currently doesn't have, so it tends to be like all over the place at times. It definitely needs attachments. It needs a little bit of work, but I think if you get the right attachments, you are going to be solid with this. This is probably one of the better like SMGs to use. Again, not SMGs. I apologize. AR. <laughs> it definitely feels like an SMG, but it's not an SMG. So if you are like an SMG person, but you want to use an AR, definitely use the Razorback. Aside from that, I did get the first base camo challenge done, which is really nice because I wasn't trying to get any of these done, to be honest. I have quite a ways to go before I can unlock the second one because I have to level up the gun to level 9 and then level level 15 and level 21 and yada yada yada. As for a first impression, I think this left a pretty good first impression. I can definitely see myself using the Tempest Razorback a lot more after today. I can see myself leveling this up and even trying to get this to Orion if I really feel like it. It doesn't seem like that hard of a weapon to use to begin with. Aside from that, I really do love the district map. I love the look of it. I like the feel of it. I like that there's just like some uniqueness to it. Like I love the different varying heights on the map. I like that there's potential to climb on random things. It just makes it a little bit more unique and refreshing with that being said. I'm not too big on Showdown. I don't like Showdown, so I won't be playing Showdown. But I do like District, and I probably will be playing District a lot more with that being said. But yeah, with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end my video here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me use the Tempest Razor back today, as well as playing the two new multiplayer maps that are added with Season 4 today as well. But with all that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and night evening. Take it easy, and peace. Bye! I'd also like to mention, why is my gun so far off to like the right side of my screen? Shouldn't it be more centered? Or is there like a barrel? I just dropped my phone.